that is so cool. Look at that tour. It's the Moog Light. No. <laughs> this is uh, nicknamed the Moog Light. Too hungry. He can't wait. What'd you get, man? 15 hour slow cooked brisket. Rally special. Which is did you actually make the carbon fiber or I you bought it? Every scratch has a story. Every scratch increases the value of the bike. First thing today, Harley Museum. I've never been there. Gonna meet up with Danny. Danny from Canada. Old hotel. Very rustic hotel. Look at this elevator. Original from the 1920s. I personally love modern stuff, but I can't say this is not nice. Let's see, 1928. All the artifacts, the history, the history of this hotel. Danny Ferrari over here, Mr. Danny Canada, is telling us that, oh, that is so cool. Look at that tour pack. Oh, it's it's the, it's the what do you call it? The Pan America's uh, bag. That is really cool. This has to be the very first Pan America tour pack that is on so a street cool. glide, road glide. You saw it here first. Dude, that is <laughs> first on this channel. Holy, John's gonna get matched. John, holy shit, channel. Check that, that out. Is, that's cool. Oh, Looks man. good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the stock that uh, comes with, pa like, not stock, but that's Let's what you would see. put on a Pan America. Yeah, that's the, uh, the available option, I guess. That's, that's very cool, dude. How big is this? To like, be honest, I, you don't know. It's, it's a, a full-size helmet. helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a full helmet. Size helmet. And a sweater. And a sweater. And a sweater. That's very cool. He's going to show us over here what he did. I've seen people uh, mount a Harbor Freight, like $10 bags, but not Pelican. something cool like this. Oh, nice. No way. Oh, that's nice. The Pan America setup Basically, that you just uh, rigged on or yeah. configured on with bolts from... So the back's a little finicky because uh, each bracket, as you can see, it has its own different. sort of cutouts. Yeah. So you basically have to work with... So uh, did you drill new holes on? I in did. Your, I did drill new holes in, in the your, floor, in, in the bottom floor. bracket. Okay. Uh, new hardware. Yeah. Um, but but I, I wanted to utilize, you know, you the, yeah. you know the, the, the disconnect, the, stock, the fact the that it locks and all that's that. That's very so. cool. Because I could have Cool drilled. idea. You see, that's what's beautiful about the Harley, the Harley platform. Everybody builds his own bike, customizes the way he wants, the way the way he wants it to look, to perform. Like two different bikes. They took a Pan America and made a kind of a bagger out of it. That's that's yeah. pretty cool. And you saw all those big wheels yesterday with the music. That's beautiful. That you can do every different kind of of your own customization. Predict Harley Davidson yeah. is going to run out of. Pan America bags. After, yeah. Once after. everybody watches this video. <laughs> it's pretty cool, I tell you that. Hey, cool, let's go to the museum. Oh, dude, I wasn't recording. Oh, oh shit. Video. I'm kidding. <laughs> Danny, yeah, that's Danny from uh, Canada's work. So we'll da Mr. Danny, you Danny? So we bought this uh, 2004 Road King. Yeah. Uh, probably about three hours away from us. A really, really, really good deal. And I basically dismantled uh, the whole bike. Powder coated the whole front end, new carbon fender. We upgraded the wheel uh, from a 17 stock wheel to a, a 19, a 19 inch wheel. Dude, and when you grades. say we made, did you actually make the carbon fiber or I you not, bought it? We bought that carbon fiber. Okay. Off and made. Okay. On the meet and greet yesterday, there's yeah. one of the guys that came with an ST that he carbon. made his own carbon fiber at yeah. home and he doesn't have a shop. He said he's yeah. retired and that's exactly yeah. what he had a lot of time. So he, I, I think, take the stock off make a mold out of it, yeah. and then make your own uh, carbon fiber, because yeah. it's kind of like working with uh, epoxy, polyester, yeah. and carbon sheets, carbon fiber sheets, and right. some vacuum. Right, right. That's two minutes, you see how easy I did that? Good. Change the bars, Lucky Dave's. Nice. Suspension. Yeah, we, it, we pretty cool. much blacked out. Very cool. What's up, oh, sweet. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, doggy. There's a puff in the back. So he got on a bike at like six weeks old. You, you okay with being on? Yeah, absolutely. That's what. Oh, we shift as well. We shift. That's clever. I, I didn't. I didn't come across you. I'm sorry. I didn't oh, come that's across okay. You. How big? You're big. You're big. Not on YouTube. I started like two months ago. Oh, so, okay. So Instagram. Kind of, yeah. I'm from Michigan. Michigan, okay. Yeah. Sassy. Yeah, Sassy, Sassy Pants. Sassy Pants. I like that name. Thanks. Uh, YouTube. Sassy Pants. Sassy Pants and Instagram yeah. as well. Yep. Check her out. Heck Sassy yeah. Pants. Nice bike. That's what Thank I have. Thank you. Low Rider ST as well. Yep.
told us, stay quiet, better close your lips. We never thought we'd get our chance to speak. So we just stay grinding, trying to hold our chips. And thank God for our chance. Okay, listen. Uh, I'm about to yeah, head into the museum right now. And the museum calls, I don't know, thirty dollars, whatever. Daniel here says, why don't you do a uh, hog membership? So for fifty nine dollars, I enjoy a lot of good free, yeah, full member, free perks. For example, entry, free entry into the museum right now. Roadside assistance that we're going to be doing ten thousand miles. Want to have that? We break down. They take us, take us to the nearest uh, Harley dealership. I think it's it's worth it. So I'm, I'm doing it. I just joined. Yeah. All the stuff. This whole this whole thing. This whole bag. The whole basket is going on. Right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome, family. Thank you. This is this is new to me. Okay. I never I never. Apparently, every dealership you go to, uh, they read out your odometer, and you accumulate over the year, and you get these patches. So it's pretty cool. That's our museum pin. And the museum pin. So with the cut the line, you go straight through it. VIP. Don't, Don't have to worry about none of right here. One Ooh. here and one here. Great day. Great idea, guys. Do it. A mile. Tony's doing the same thing. This man really hooking me up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. This is pretty cool. At the hog, there's a little corner over there for uh, ex-military. If you serve, I've been 18 years in the Israeli Air Force, a pilot. They gave me a shirt. So cool. Thank you very much. Hold this a second. Hold my beer. Show. That's cool. Very cool. How did you get the t-shirt? Uh, military. Let's go to the museum finally. Uh, Danny. Tony, I heard this yesterday from somebody. Uh, maybe it's not original, but it's the first time I heard it. Teach a man how to fish, he, he, he can live his whole life, right? He can survive his whole life. Teach a man how to ride a Harley, he'll be poor for his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's true. <laughs> This is where it all started, right here. Well, I don't know if it's literally here, if this is the actual shed or just a replica, but this is exactly what it was looked like. That's it. That's the place. One of the first one. It's over there. B twin. Nineteen oh nine. It is a B twin. Here's a here. <laughs> Single twin. <laughs> I don't know if you meant that as a joke, but it was pretty funny. I know, either way, we understood. That's funny. It worked out perfectly. It's either very funny or very stupid. Danny is our, is our tour guide for today because he has been here a few times. Serial number 1903, one. 1903, serial number one. I don't story. know if this is the true story. Well, this is the this is the Danny the version of the truth. No, 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 no. We're gonna catch. We're not gonna hold you accountable. So tell us. Come on. <laughs> There's three Davidson brothers and one Harley, and Harley was the engineer behind uh, the, the model the motor. And the that, it was my belief that the Davidsons put in the money, the money to fund it, and it was Harley, basically the, the brains behind the engineering behind it. Okay. Um, and originally it was supposed to be called Davidson Harley. It sounds nicer Harley Davidson than Davidson yeah, Harley. Yeah, you can say that now. But I think if we were known it as Davidson <laughs> Harley course. from day one, maybe yeah, that, of course. Maybe that would have rolled out of your tongue too. Don't hold him accountable. That's from his memory, okay? Please don't don't be mad at our Daniel. If I read that somewhere in the book, it might yeah. be wrong. Well, you think he's wrong, just tell us down by the comments and flip it around, okay? It goes year by year, the, the, the progression of the models. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you Harley, Harley has the most beautiful paint job by far Any, any company If we get in a Drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us We don't have to stop Baby, let's go We are at, at the vault 
I just heard about it the first time from my boy Danny over here. Danny, Danny Ferrari, Mr. Danny Canada. Give us a short explanation, unless you don't want to. I'm not a tour guide. Not a he's not a tour guide, but from what he knows. But what I do know is yeah. that Harley Davidson will take one bike every year, put it aside in the vault, no miles. Brand Just new. take it from the from the, the like take it uh, right off the assembly, the assembly line, line. Put it aside. Put it here, for and sake of history. And so this and is my. Have a look at my dream garage. Oh my God! There are hundreds of bikes from all the years. How far does back does it go? Oldest bike, old in the vault. bike over here, 19. Oh five. 1905. Wow, so it goes almost back started? to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real, Danny. Calm down. Danny, it's not real. I'll have your bag if you'll have mine. You and I, you and I. Look at this wall, the wall of old slides, pretty much. A narrow glide, and then that would be the wide glide. You can see the oh, difference. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 I do. And the chopper. Yeah, the, yeah, the rake is different. Too. But look at this. Look at this tank. I just did a revival of this. Where are all these designs now? Why not make them? They can be great sellers, I think. I don't really know, but I would buy one. It's beautiful. It's like so retro. With a modern engine, beautiful. Cow glide? The Moog glide. No. <laughs> this is uh, nicknamed the Moog glide. The Moog glide. Dude, it was production. They made it like yeah, just like That's the way that's it came nice out. Said. Oh my God. Feel it. Feel the fur. Touch it. Loud? Touch it. <laughs> you see that? That's what you have. No, Pan America copied my bike. Look exactly. Pan 2021. So it's yes. Yeah, Street got clay fairing. That's how they like design. The street glide fairing is nice. It is very nice. I rode it in uh, California. I actually like I like it more than the road glide. Yeah. Twenty fours. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but Danny's buying. Danny's buying. After looking at the patina on these bikes, yes. I've come to a decision. I am not going to fix the, the the scratches and and scuffs. On my bag, every scratch, every tells scratch a story. has a story. Every scratch has a story. Every scratch increases the value of the bike, because look at this bike is worth tens of thousands of dollars. Easy. So I should scratch up my bike big time, and I'm gonna like double my money. Especially if it's owned by Holy Shift. Exactly, Holy Shift scratched bike, double the money, and I'll sign it at the end. Hold this. North Dakota, Sandy. What do you say? We were just saying, this is actually a statement. He says, this bike is meant to be ridden. I rode it here 2,000 miles. Deal with it. Like, fuck you, right? Yeah, I right rode there. it. Save this guy. Deal with it. That's actually cool. That's a statement. Buddy, if you come back from your trip, your bike looks like that. There is. That's what I'm having. Too hungry, he can't wait. What'd you get, man? Show us. Uh, full pork. Full pork. I got a 14 hour slow cooked brisket. Oh, and I got a rally special, which is I think both of what he they they just had combined in one big plate. And some post post law. It makes you like you're a normal guy. You know what I mean? Like everyone else. We started with the the salad. I'm asking Danny, like, why, why do you people like to watch us eat? Like when we grew up as kids, mom and dad told us it's impolite to take pictures of somebody eating, and uh, it, to me it's strange. But people actually love the food scene, and Danny's explaining that it it makes us look authentic because we do get our faces. Dirty, and we enjoy our food and, and and stuff like that, I guess. So you get to see the real food. Let me show you what we actually got here. This is the brisket. Oh, look at the tons of fat here. Tons of fat. Oh man, that's all the flavor. That's fat exactly flavor. all the flavor. Some of the doctors will tell you that's very unhealthy. That's debatable. Here we go. 
Here's my bypass surgery. Oh my god. Cardiac arrest right there. Rally food when you're really hungry is so good. So it's a static demo for people who are thinking about getting their motorcycles. Oh, like people that learn how to shift and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Once you sit down, it'll be okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They teach you, if you're thinking of getting a Harley and riding a manual for the first time, they have a little demo. They teach you, she teaches you how to do it. Is that my next e bike? Del Mar. That's what it's called. It's actually, it's comfortable. It's nice. God, Mike's beards on bros. Mike's beards and bros over here <laughs> in the building. Met him up over here. Stop. How you guys Ca doing? Catching up, catching up on. We actually never met face to face, and we've been talking so much. Now we're now we're face to face. Now we're face. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> What's up, all? All the worries from my mind. Darling, please forgive me if I stay a little. I can't look away from those brown eyes. 14 years old from Oklahoma with fully licensed. Oh, it was like the loud ass music. In Oklahoma, you're allowed to have a license at 14. And this dude just went ahead and got himself a fat boy to do it. Tyler's dad right here. He says Tyler has five bikes, five Harleys of his own. Four Harleys. Four Harleys. Two Hondas and a Yamaha. Oh my God, and he does all his wrenching himself. <laughs> no, 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 he don't do all of his wrenching himself. I know, but he does a lot of it. Yeah. Very cool. Yep, yep. Five. I'm in ninth grade. Tyler is 14 years old. Came in riding about 700 miles from Oklahoma. How come you didn't tell me you watched my videos, man? <laughs> Good for you, man. Very cool. Very cool. Me and my brother twin like the towers, and we won it now. Never later, no more favors. Done with all these traders who be haters on the low. They just hate to see you grow. So I'd rather be alone in my zone, writing poems, cause I'm never on the road. And I'd rather stay at home, man. Life is moving fast lately, trying to get a grasp, man. Every day I'm mad lately. Never let it drive me crazy. You do this for my old lady. You got a bright future ahead of you, Tyler. Thank you. That's a champ right there. 14 years old with the license. Oh my God. So not at all. And he came riding over here 700 miles? Yeah, it's crazy. 827 miles with his dad. So cool. Very cool. Very cool. Nearby, I have my trade my bike in. I had a 2019 video, man. I got that Blackberry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought he wants to just go buy it. <laughs>